Well, well. If it isn't Attila the Hun, fresh from the killing fields. If this is about the typhoon, I'll get to it in a minute. Now, Pritchard. I didn't risk my neck to have you lose it in a pile of CPUs and SCSI adapters. Well, look at you, using the big words. Don't think, just because you hacked through the plant security system so fast that you're an expert on everything computer. There's a reason I can't examine the typhoon yet. Do tell. For your information, I am running a diagnostic sweep on our network and router security to find out how Sanders Hacker got a hold of our codes. I'd have thought the first question to ask is, whose codes were they? Unless you already know. Stick to kicking down doors and shooting people, Jensen, and stop trying to do my job. I guarantee you will get along better that way. Francis Frank Wendell Pritchard, also known by his handle in later years of Nuclear Snake, is the head of the cybersecurity division at Sarif Industries during the events of Deus Ex Human Revolution and the Deus Ex Human Revolution comics. By the time of Deus Ex Mankind Divided, he is working as a freelance hacker. During his work for Sarif Industries, he was the head of the cybersecurity division and responsible for the overall digital well-being and security for the company. His performance evaluations have noted him to be remarkable at thinking outside the box when it comes to his work ethic, but his ineffectual behaviour towards co-workers has been under constant evaluation. At one point, Pritchard was arrested for fraud and related activity in connection with access devices and computers charges, along with four other additional unknown accomplices. In 2027, Pritchard works with Adam Jensen and gives him advice through Jensen's info link on security conditions on the field. He is highly knowledgeable about security layouts and various points of entry, tending to side with indirect covert groups. He was the one who told David Sarif the company needed to have a better physical security team for protection. But actually wanted to use Dynacore, Sharp Edge, or even Bell Tower, which were all top private security contractors and not Jensen. Richard strongly disapproves of Jensen as a choice for security chief. This is evidenced by his many snide comments and even an email trail through Sarif headquarters searching for an employee who has been stealing neuropazine from the company. Richard enlists the help of some co-workers to specific statement of we must find the evidence and present it to David before Jensen even knows about it, indicating Pritchard was trying to solve a workplace crime in order to outwit Jensen or portray him as incompetent. But despite his determination, none of the many people suspected of being the thief by Pritchard were the actual culprit, even though he was made aware of the real thief by another source. However, as the story progressed, Jensen and Pritchard eventually moved from their distaste for one another to a point where Jensen entrusts Pritchard with sending a security team to Michelle Walter's apartment without informing Sarif. During the same quest, Pritchard sincerely asks Jensen to be careful. Pritchard is first seen in Human Revolution during the prologue, heading up to Athene Margulis's desk to explain the methods that will be used in tracking SI scientists during the augmentation hearing in Washington, as SI being Sarif Industries. Later, after Adam returns from his post-augmentation sick leave, Pritchard quickly fixes his retinal display, saying that right and left image processes were not completely in sync, goading Jensen in the process. During the Milwaukee factory mission, he provides logistical support for Jensen and serves as a way of communicating with David Sarif. Jensen recovers the neural hub from a dead augmented purity first member, and Pritchard examines it, revealing that it had been modified with a wet drive that allows someone, a real hacker, to turn the hub's owner into a human proxy. Pritchard sends Jensen to disable a transmission in derelict row and afterwards traces the origin of the hacker to an abandoned factory in Highland Park. Following Sarif Industries' bankruptcy after the org incident, Pritchard found new employment as a freelance hacker under the alias of Nuclear Snake while still basing himself in Detroit. Despite not believing Jensen's claims about the Illuminati, he nonetheless supplied him with news extracts that he believed could potentially link certain powerful individuals to them. After taking up residence in Detroit's Rialto movie theatre, Francis is contacted by Jensen and helps Jensen and Stax escape from Alaska. After making it to Detroit, Pritchard then aids Jensen in stopping the illegal theft of former Sarif Industries augmentations with some help from members of the Juggernaut Collective. Several months later, Pritchard contacts Jensen, now in Prague, and reminded Jensen that he owed him for aiding in his escape from Alaska. Pritchard asks Jensen to return the favor by helping him vet the Santo group for a client of his. Ultimately, Jensen aids Pritchard by infiltrating the Palisade Blade and accessing its mainframe to extract the information Pritchard needed from it, inadvertently causing the largest breach in Palisades' cybersecurity in history. While he shows no 
signs of physical and or mechanical augmentation, it is suggested that Pritchard is augmented, as after he contacts Jensen during the second visit to Hengsha and the augmentation glitches are mentioned, Pritchard replies with, we've all had them, suggesting that he was experiencing the glitches as well. He also states that he will look into the new biochip more before getting it himself. Evidently, he did not decide to upgrade before Hugh Darrow's signal is broadcast, since he communicates normally with Jensen over the comms at the beginning of the final mission. It can be assumed that he has cerebral hacking augmentations. This is also evident as there is a cyber boost energy bar on his desk in Seraph Industries. In System Rift, when Adam tells him the Human Restoration Act would force a lot of augmented people to move to Rabia, Pritchard responds, I hope it doesn't come to that Jensen for any of us. And we'll move on to some trivia. Pritchard's parallel in Deus Ex is Alex Jacobson. Alex's terminal had an email list in all of UNATCO's logins and passwords sent to Joseph Manderley. In Human Revolution, there is a similar email on Pritchard's desktop to David Sarif. Both emails instruct their recipients to delete the emails as soon as they are read, but neither Francis nor Alex promptly deleted the replies from their own inboxes. If you went into the women's restroom at the beginning and then talked to him, he will say, oh by the way Jensen, I know you have went through a lot of physical changes of late, but you didn't become a woman, so stay out of the ladies' restroom. This parallels Mandalay's reprimanding of JC for entering the UNATCO women's restroom in Deus Ex. There is a small easter egg in Pritchard's office. If you go straight to the back wall from the door to the court board on the wall and look down at the thick cables on the floor, you will notice the serial number on the cable is NCC1701D. This is a reference to the registry number for the Starship Enterprise in the popular 80s and 90s reboot Star Trek The Next Generation. Pritchard has a poster in his office for the Final Fantasy 27 a reference to one of Square Enix's long-running game series. The Deus Ex Human Revolution Collector's Edition guide contains concept art of Pritchard's office, where a figurine of Bender from the popular sci-fi cartoon Futurama can be on display. When returning the Typhoon, Pritchard will sarcastically refer to Adam as Attila the Hun, fresh from the killing fields, or Mahatma Gandhi himself, come to honour us with his life-preserving presence, depending on whether Adam handled the purest lethally or non-lethally in Milwaukee Junction. He maintains a hacker alias of Nuclear Snake, and will still using it as his email address as evidenced by his login password email to Sarif. Also, an email by Ari Van Bruggen found in the Pangu says, I gotta deal with Nuclear Snake again, he's becoming a real pain in my ass, indicating that Pritchard was using the alias while investigating Van Bruggen. This alias may be a reference or easter egg regarding Metal Gear Solid, another stealth slash action series. Hacking Pritchard's computer reveals a reason for his bitterness towards Adam. He was pestering Piker's TV about his idea of a TV show with a hacker protagonist who would use his wits rather than brute force, clearly modelled after himself. The Pikus editor instead suggests an ex-cop hero, who incidentally sounds like a carbon copy of Jensen, saying he's more likeable. In Mankind Divided, civilian NPCs may sometimes remark that Jensen looks like the main character of a movie called Nuclear Snake, seemingly implying that Pritchard's script was eventually picked up and that the main character was modelled on Jensen. If Jensen talks to them again, they will reveal that this character has longer hair, no beard, and is named Francis, implying the character was modelled on Pritchard as well. On Jensen's coffee table, a copy of the screenplay can be found, signed by Pritchard, perhaps indicating that he sought Jensen's opinion on it. A copy can also be found in Nomad Stanek's apartment and two in Laura Vale's apartment. Pritchard owns a stun gun in Deus Ex Blacklight. Also in Deus Ex Blacklight, the verbal password to Pritchard's security system at the Rialto is Aerith Lives, a reference to Final Fantasy VII. And that's all we have on you Francis got Pritchard. Into. It's not as bad as you think. My client, that freelance job that I told you about. Go on. You've heard of the Santo Group, haven't you? The European mega corporation that built... The Utilec Complex, Prague's Ob Ghetto. Yeah, I've heard of them. Then you probably know they're building another complex for Augs in Oman. Only, this one's a city. And it's being hailed as a desert paradise. I'm up on current events, Francis. Well, my client is considering a partnership with Santo. But before going all in, he wants to know two things. Is Rabia feasible? And is the mysterious group that you're trying to stop also involved with the plan? And the Illuminati? Thought that might grab your attention. To know for sure though, I need to get a look at some digital files stored inside the Palisade Blade. On servers leased to Santo, Slaw and his passport were going to help me do it. Until he chickened out. So you see, Jensen, I really don't intend to steal anything. At least not on my own.